What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. You guys are awesome for coming here. Awesome for coming to watch my crazy ass talk and be a goofball on camera and listen to some music that you guys suggested because you love it so much that you wanted to share it with me. That is awesome. And I thank you. Today we got a request from Lorenzo. Thank you, Lorenzo, brother. I appreciate you. Hi, Anz. Great to see an American enjoying Italian music. I think Pooh deserve a reaction. They were a historic Italian band, and their career covered 50, 50 years. From 1966 to 2016, among their songs, this is my favorite. This video is taken from their last concert, and thanks for your good work. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for trusting me with some music that you absolutely love. Trusting me to critique it and listen to it and analyze it the best I can. So, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, subscribe, share, comment. Do whatever you want, really, to be honest. I'm going to smoke a cigarette and we're going to enjoy some poo. And it's a long song, so let's just listen to it. It's called Paris or Pass Par Pass Fall. Let's see. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I like his uh, keyboard playing, very classy. Completely awesome. Completely awesome. I'm trying to really get into it. And I've never seen this band before. And I'm watching it and I'm just thinking, people don't really think about what music is. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what music is. Um, yeah, when I'm seeing that thing, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called either. So maybe I don't know music. But it's all sounds. It's all sounds. You take each thing out and play it on its own, it's just a sound. But when you put that all together, that's when the magic happens. You know, a bass is just a bass without a guitar and drums. Vice versa to any instrument. But when you put it all together, it makes, it creates something. It's like this, this is a house and it needs wood and it needs cement and it needs brick and it needs cinder block and it needs all these things to become a house and without all those things it's just a piece of wood or you know it's just individual parts that i think maybe that's the amazing part about music and it's something you create out of nothing let me shut the fuck up For some reason, I feel like I've heard this before. Shredding. I got a nickname for him, Shreddy Kruger.
Damn. Hold on, there's a part right before that. I gotta find it. Hold on, guys. There's a little bass part that goes boom, boom. And I just caught my ear. Listen for it. Ready? Here it comes. I'll tell you when. Right there. Did you hear it? Boom, boom. That part reminds me, it doesn't remind me, but it gives me the same feeling Fade to Black from Metallica gave me. You know, there's a whole, there's the whole intro, and then the solo, and then after the guitar solo comes that, the way that acoustic part comes in, after the solo in Fade to Black, the way it changes, how beautiful it sounds, that transition, it's like you're looking into fucking heaven the way it transitions like you're going from earth to heaven that's that transition i just got there too that same mm, oh my god like i'm crossing over that feeling <laughs> old men with swagger old men with swagger Come on, bro. This dude is playing like it is, not, it's like itching his back. Like he, he makes it so easy to him. It's like nothing. And when he was writing it, I'm sure it was a little challenge, but now he's been playing it for how long? I don't know, but it's it's like second nature to him. He's the whole band is ridiculously killing it. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? Tight. Gotta be tight, man. They gotta know when to come in together at the same time. He's not even using the snare to count them in. Not the snare, the, the hi-hat to count them in. If you ever see bands play live in the beginning of a song or when a song stops, they might go tsh, 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 and then they kick in. What they're doing there is counting in for the whole band. They already thought it out before they got on stage. Like, you're gonna count to three and then we're all gonna come in. Tsh, tsh. Da, 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 da. But this band's like, we don't even need that shit. We just know when to come in because we're pros. We don't need no counting. Count these nuts in. Hopefully, I'm loud enough. Or not too loud. Let me see. 
Hello, hello. This mic's been giving me problems. They just went from being a regular band to being a milestone band. One of them bands that is like, what the fuck? Like, um, when you just see them, you know they're legendary. You know, when you listen to something live and they get to a part and some bands, they're done, they get off stage. This band's like, no, the song is not over yet. This is a masterpiece. We must add more parts. We must add these beautiful, intricate hearts that invoke these kinds of emotions that you don't get from everything that is master pay masterpiece music making <laughs> when you don't know when to say the song is over when you want to keep building on it like building and building this is this part is beautiful i gotta go back a little bit Perfect timing. Are they gonna go ham? It looks like they're in church. was not distracted i had to send a very important text message that has to do with music and kind of has to do with this so i was paying attention dude's got like six keyboards i, I wouldn't know what to do with one Try something. That's beautiful. I gotta try something over that. We're gonna try to sing a vocal over that. It's not gonna sound great because the mic and I'm not in a studio and I'm not on stage with them, but we're gonna try it. Let me try it. Okay. 
that was horrible. I was gonna, I was trying to sing my own vocals over that part because that was like an instrumental part. I was like, let me try, and I don't think it sounded too bad. It just needs a little vocal effects and it needs to be mixed in with that. And yeah, it wasn't horrible. But let's continue. I love that dude. He's got like a Phil Collins smooth swagger vibe. He's like, fuck y'all. I know I'm the shit. There's nothing cooler than an old cool man. You guys just showing off now. You're like, come on, gang. You think we can't do this? <laughs> he was like, hold on, I ain't done yet. Shredder, Shreddy Krueger. He's so smooth. Look at that drum set. It's like a, it's like a bunch of barrels. <laughs> well. Smoking like a chimney up in here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, where do I start? Where do I start? Uh, talent, vocals. I mean, they're not the greatest singers in the entire world. And let's be honest, rock singers are not. R singing rock music is not about singing those Whitney Houston type notes. It's rock music is about passion. It's it's about sounding like you mean what you're singing. It's, it's conveying emotions and really feeling the heartbreak when you hear a rock song is the key behind a great vocalist. It's not about, oh, my God, can he hit that Whitney note? No. Now, that's a different style. That's also amazing. Don't get me wrong. Whitney is amazing, but rock singers are not the wow factor for a rock singer is more in the passion, in the in the way it feels, the way it, the realism of it, I guess I'm trying to say. The emotion behind the voice. And I felt it there. I felt it. Um, even with them smiling and, you know, dan not dancing, but they kind of had the swagger on the stage. I still felt the emotions in their voices. You know, there was backup singers, too instruments amazing there's like a solo every five seconds i couldn't even remember one solo to play in a song and they got like 20 solos in one song plus all these crazy parts that break down and it. it's crazy the talent is crazy um the intricate parts i really like the part with the flute when they stopped and they started playing that and then there was another part where they stopped when i tried to sing and i butchered it but what a what a immense talent you know hearing songs like this really make me want to step my game up uh maybe sometimes when you think a song's done it ain't you could add so much more to it you just you don't because you're like you know i'm tired of this song i want to stop i'm finished 
But you got to just keep building that bitch. Build that bitch up to the ceiling. Build it up to the mountains. Why do you got to stop? Make it epic as possible. Because once it's done, it's there forever, man. That song is forever. I mean, look at Elvis. Look at some of these songs from the 30s. They're still around. Uh, yeah, so you might be tired that day, but you got to put the work in because that song is eternal. Absolutely amazing, man. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see. Lorenzo, I appreciate you, brother. I'm sorry this took forever. You know, it's hard to get time, man. It's hard to get time. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Please subscribe. Please check out my damn podcast, man. Nobody wants to subscribe. Just, I really would appreciate if you listen to that. Or if you don't listen, just subscribe anyway. That's all. All right, guys. I love you so much. Take care. Have a great day. Poo. Ultimo. Concerto. Awesome. Awesome. True musicians. Deuces. Deuces.